The regional push, especially here in the Gulf, to be a leader in artificial intelligence technology has propelled the build-out of major infrastructure in Saudi Arabia, Qatar and, of course, right here in the UAE. Now, these countries have cheap energy and swathes of capital, and they're looking beyond oil to take the lead in the race to acquire the latest technology, which leaders here hope will sustain their economies for decades to come, perhaps when crude revenues dry up. The Middle East data center market is supposed to triple in capacity, according to PwC. The growth is expected to be driven by a surge in cloud computing and demand for increased digital infrastructure, something the UAE especially is hoping to harness. Major cloud providers like Microsoft and Google are partnering with Gulf countries already, especially in the UAE, where during President Trump's visit to the Gulf, Stargate UAE was announced. Now, Stargate UAE is a large-scale AI infrastructure project in Abu Dhabi, which hopes to build the world's largest set of AI data centers outside of the United States. It's run by Emirati AI firm G42 in partnership with OpenAI, Oracle, NVIDIA, Cisco and SoftBank. It will be the first international deployment of OpenAI's Stargate infrastructure. Well, let's get more on this and bring in Iyad Takwali. He is Vice President of Advisory at Gartner, joining us live now from Dubai. Plenty to unpack here, Iyad, as we look at this major infrastructure spend underway in the region. And in particular, new data from Gartner shows IT spending in the Middle East will hit 169 billion US dollars by next year. I'm curious just to get your expectations on what is actually driving that and where specifically these funds are going. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. The Middle East is in a strong growth path. The MENA IT spending is expected to reach 155 billion in 2025, which is an increase of 8.8 percent from 2024, which is also slightly higher than the global growth rate of 7.9 percent. Now, for next year, also, we're forecasting the IT spend in the MENA market to reach $169 billion, which is an increase of another 8.9 percent from 2025. Now, this growth is powered by increased investments in areas like AI, cloud strategies, and cybersecurity. Now, while we're seeing some pause in some organizations globally on net new spending due to the current global and economic uncertainty, the Middle East, especially the GCC region, is still growing digital investments. And I would say AI and Gen AI are driving this investment momentum. Indeed. And off the back of President Trump's visit to the region earlier this year, the race is on, in particular in the Gulf and these well-capitalized economies to invest in AI infrastructure and in particular data centers. Your most recent data shows 37 percent growth in data center spending alone to nearly $13 billion by next year as well. So who is actually winning the regional AI race right now, particularly when it comes to investing in that compute capacity? So we see a big focus in the GCC region when it comes to the AI race. I believe the GCC region, they are leveraging their infrastructure, future forward policies and national strategy to really empower innovation and support a Brazilian AI driven economy. If you look into the GCC country, almost every GCC country has a national AI strategy, UAE, KM, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and all the GCC countries. And their big investment is really reflecting their commitment. And just a small example of this, like we've seen the announcement on the $15 billion AI initiative through Humane, which is backed by the Public Investment Fund. Uh, their uh, partnership with global players like NVIDIA, AMD, AWS, to build advanced infrastructure, and also investing in building their uh, locally developed large language model, which is Humane Chat. We've seen similar things from the UAE as well, with their uh, $100 billion AI-focused investment fund building the largest also AI campus outside the US and also investing in a locally developed larger language model, which is Falcon. Now we see high ambitions in the regions and, but when you look into implementation by incumbent organization, the adoption of AI is still yet to catch up when it comes to these uh, ambitions. Most organizations, most incumbent organizations are still in piloting or limited implementation of course, like industries varies in terms of the level of adoption. We see some more progress in specific industries like retail, consumer packaged goods, professional services, and banking. And those industries, they started their investment early in AI because of their competitive landscape that they operated in. And they started to see some results of these investments. 